Hey, it's James speaking. We're live again. Um, would you like an AI coach? Someone to actually help you and keep you accountable on all of the projects that you're involved in? Well, I'm going to show you actually, I'll give you the whole prompts on this uh, um, as we go through them. They're all available right within trainingstates.io forward slash join if you haven't already. But, you know, if you coach people, if you're teaching people on a regular basis, I'm sure you go through some kind of process, right? But do you have your own coach that keeps you accountable, that knows all about you and is keeping track of you and knows what results you're getting, what you're making with the mistakes and can actually make suggestions on different approaches and different things to do? Um, the interesting thing for me and all of this AI stuff that I've been learning that I think the problem that a lot of people don't talk about is there's all sorts of prompts and tools that can really help us if we know what we should be asking or we know what the problems are that we need to fix. Now, you often look at that for customers about what about for yourself? Sometimes if you don't know that you don't know, it's really, really hard to fix. I would love to have someone that says, hey, don't do that again. That's not working. Or if you keep on doing that, have you considered doing it this way since the last four times you did it that way, it didn't work so well. So someone that's there for me, someone that checks in on me, someone that reminds me, and someone that is brutally honest about what I'm doing right and what I'm doing wrong. So if you were thinking about helping out your customers, your clients, what's the process that you would go through? Well, it's probably something similar to this. So let's actually take a look at the one that I created here. Uh, this one was for Claude. I did one for Claude, uh, one for ChatGPT, and one for Gemini, which is a special one that I'm going to show you at the end because Gemini does some really, really cool stuff if you want your own AI learning coach. Someone that's going to be there to keep you accountable and focused on what it is that's going to help you grow and learn the things that you need to learn just in time to be able to get the results that you want. So here's kind of the first process. This is the one for Claude. Uh, see if I can make this a little bit bigger for us. And we'll, there we go. Okay. So here's one here. I'll make my screen a little bit easier to use. So here's the first thing you're going to do is I'm going to go and create a document that is a profile document. Uh, and in this particular case, this is just a simple document that is the baseline or the reference. Uh, and it pride, provides a little bit of a topic here. And in my case, I was just using an example topic. So you'll see references. Obviously, if you have a project or something that you need to learn about in your business, you can change these. But a topic and a goal and then today's date. And then basically, I'm going to put down here like what I think I'm good at, what I think I'm not good at, what I'm struggling with, what I'm us using right now for tools, like what are the assets that I have available to me, and then what I think my biggest challenges are. And then also, uh, it's going to show in this document the assessment history. We'll get to that. Uh, commitments and attempts and evidence of progress. So this is the reference document, right? This is the one that gets updated on a regular basis. But as the baseline with the date, this is like your gold document, right? This is where your report starts right here. After you've got that set up, the second step is, now, would you do that with your customers? Yeah, you always do that. You have some kind of audit with a coach when you're coaching someone or teaching someone you do always some kind of baseline it's the exact same thing for yourself and that's what we were getting set up in this particular step and then after that the first thing i'm going to do is going to open up my ai tool in this case it's claude and i'm basically saying you're my personal lear learning coach and, a and uh, assessment person i want to do an honest skills assessment for my topic and i'll be coming back to you regularly to check on progress over type and the thing that it does is when we actually run this is it does a detailed assessment basically of where I am based on the starting point document that I put in. And the whole idea here is to create some scenario based questions so that it can learn about things like how do I approach things? What questions do I ask? How do I focus on? How do I teach things? So it is going to be able to take a look for those particular ones through providing me with a situation and me explaining how I would normally approach that when I'm doing my job or whatever it happened to be in the particular topic. And it digs deeper right down into it. So I have to go through that step. I got to go through and I got to be brutally honest. Like I'm not 
embarrassed to talk to a real person. It's like, hey, I'm talking to AI here. I'm just going to tell the truth. These are the things I think I'm good at, but some of these, even though I may say I'm good at, maybe I'm not so good at, and just give some honest answers and Claude or whatever tool it is, is going to help you dig down and expand on that to kind of help you out and going through the actual process. And then after this particular assessment, what happens is in this case, what we're going to do is just say, hey, Claude, can you please create a summary for my learning profile that includes, and we've got four particular pieces here. The skill level, where you think you're at, any gaps you've identified, things that you should focus on in the future, measurable goals for the next two weeks, you get the idea here. And this is what I copy and paste and I put it directly into the profile document that I used. I also go and set up a check-in system. So here's my learning profile from the last session. I paste it in and then it goes through and asks me some more questions. So it's doing a check-in just like a coach does and says, hey, how'd you make out? What'd you do? What worked? What didn't work? What did you learn? What do you think you need to learn? And it adjusts the priorities based on what I actually accomplished or didn't accomplish or didn't do. And then also some follow-ups. During check-ins, use these following prompts to go deeper. I said I was going to do this. Let me show you what actually happened. I did this. I got this result. So this is the one where it's about implementation and accountability. This is my AI check. This is a basic one where I'm actually having someone help me through this. Uh, and then, you know, obviously you're going to go through, you've got this document, you've been adding information to it over a period of time. You can say, hey, have you noticed some pa patterns? Are there things that I'm doing repeatedly that work or not work? Are there things that I should focus on? What questions should I be asking or what things am I missing out on or blind spots that maybe I haven't considered that I should? Okay, so we've got our learning coach for Claude. What about the two other tools that are really popular? ChatGPT and Google Gemini. Well, both of those are really important and they're a little bit different and I wanna go through that quickly. And then I'm also gonna show why I think Gemini is the best option for doing this. So what's the big difference between Claude and ChatGPT? There's two things that you should be aware of. And again, if you haven't seen these before, um, these ones I'm bringing up, these are all available. All the prompts that you see here are available uh, for free. They're part of uh, the trainingsites.io forward slash community, which is free that you can join there. So I put all these prompts and there's two things that are interesting with ChatGPT. The first one is, and I'll open this one up for you so you can see it, is ChatGPT allows you to uh, have ChatGPT remember your previous chats and the responses that you gave. So it has a memory of what's going on. In the first version of Claude, we had to go and actually, you know, do a, um, a sheet and then we had copy and paste, copy and paste, copy and paste back and forth. ChatGPT, we can turn memory on up front so that we do the exact same process that we did before, where we're basically getting that assessment, you know, we're creating a learning profile, doing the initial assessment, go through the assessment, that kind of stuff. But in our case, because the memory's turned on, we just have to say, hey, I'm going to be doing this on a regular basis. Make sure that you, uh, you know, that you keep it in memory and remember the details about me, plus all of the conversations that we have that are about this particular chat. You go through the same steps. You've got the build the profile out. So it's basically adding this to memory and then it goes through the exact same thing. Now, the second thing that uh, ChatGPT has that is really kind of cool is, of course you can create custom GPTs. And remember, this is your personal pre-programmed, I don't want to call it an agent, but this is your setup that is specific to your coach. So this isn't you going to prompt and start a new chat every time you go to ChatGPT. This is a static one that you're working with all the time that already has all of these instructions for it to become a coach. It's already there and you're having a continuing conversation with it. So this brings a level of consistency and detail and the ability to dig down deeper, especially because there's memory as well, where we're going to be able to have a coach that is really going to be able to keep us uh, accountable and be able to help us identify some of the things that we need to fix or, or work on. So those are the ones that are actually there kind of cool. Um, 
and again, I've put the prompts here that you can see them, but the one that I'm probably most excited about is the one for Google Gemini. Now, if you aren't familiar with Google Gemini, they do have something called gems, which are similar to custom GPTs. And the difference is that a gem is for your account only. So it only works on your uh, Gemini account and it only works for you because you're logged in and it's your gem. So it works in a similar way of custom GPT. I've included all of the prompts for you to create your own gem if you want. Um, and that part, part is all there. But here's the, here's the one that's really, really cool with this. I'm gonna give you some additional options here. Here's the first thing that's gonna happen is we're actually going to go, and in this case, uh, there's the gem instructions at the top here. The one that we're gonna do, which is neat, is um, what we're gonna do is we're gonna create a spreadsheet and we basically got some details here. So this is, a, instead of one just big long document, this is actually a sheet where we have fields that are specific to the task so that we can have a running, uh, not running total, but running listing of all of the different things that we've said have done. And the reason that that's important is because if we have a spreadsheet and this additional data now, this allows, in this case, Gemini, to be able to do some additional analysis. Um, so we go through the same thing, act, you know, assessment with documentation, same kind of prompts. And here's the one where it starts to get a little bit cooler. Now, remember, when you're using tools like Gemini, and some of the other ones are starting to do this now, but with Gemini, remember, if we're prompting here and we put the at signal at the bottom and we just go at, we now have access because I've enabled the applications in Google Gemini. I now have, or Gemini now has access to my calendar, to my Gmail, to my docs, all of these additional parts of the Google workspace that it can reference and double check on me. So what happens here? It's now going to be able to go and we're going to be able to give the prompts and just say, hey, I want you to help me assess how well I'm actually integrating whatever it is that I'm asking it to coach me on. Uh, can you access my Gmail and calendar to see how much time have I actually spent on what I said I would be doing? Whether I'm following through on the commitments that I've made in my calendar. What are the actual things that I said I would do versus the ones that I actually did? So instead of me having to be honest when I'm doing these follow-up sessions, it can actually look into my documents and tell if, help me tell the truth. So that's kind of the first thing. Um, whenever I need to do a follow-up, I've got the gem there. I just basically open it up and just say, hey, it's been a week since our last session. Before we move forward, you know, remind me of where we're at. What did I say I would do? and have the conversation with your AI learning coach, the one that's there to help you and ask for specific evidence of what really happened. Help me identify the gap between intentions and execution based on real results because it'll do deep assessments. And if you get into this a little bit further, we've also got real-time data inter uh, uh, tied together. So to the drive, see which files have been added, what proposals, what documents, all of this stuff is really, really cool. And it does something unique for you. It is now not you only helping other people. It's about AI helping you do the same thing that you're trying to help people with. And I love the way this works. The part that is exciting for me is that it's something that is easy to use and apply. And it brings a whole bunch of insights that you may not have considered. And the reason I know that is because I went through this myself and it did something that I wasn't expecting. And I'll tell you why uh, it's important. One of the things that I was doing during the assessment, I'm using Google Gem and I was using Pro in this particular example. And during the assessment, one of the things it does is it gives a scenario. And I mean a super detailed scenario. And again, this is the start of my coach doing the assessment, right? And it basically tells a little bit of a story of a particular person in my community because it knows I have a community. It knows I talk about AI. It knows I talk about education businesses and courses. So basically it says, here's the scenario that this customer or client or community member has. And it says, given your goal to help these people, walk me through exactly how. This is ChatGPT or Claude or... Uh, or uh, in this case, Gemini asking me 
It's asking me, it's coaching me. Walk me through exactly how you'd respond to David directly in the forum or however you were actually talking to the person. What initial steps would you advise him to take specifically using AI? What tools based on the ones that you have or the ones that he may have? What would you recommend to him? What would be the process? What's the actionable advice? So it asked me to do that. I had to do all of the work and basically I had to make sure that I understood what I was talking about to give the answer back. And here's the really cool part for you and me to help us grow and learn more because we're going to be able to understand the questions that we have to ask ourselves to have ourselves grow as well. It went through a couple little conversations with me, clarification, and the part that is important is it basically said, okay, based on your answers, this is how you would do it. And it went through and it gave me seven particular steps. Now, I look at this and I'm going, wow, that's great. It's bang on. The problem is, Gemini came back to me and said, in the scenario that I gave you, this person was just starting out. You've given a whole complete detail of how you would actually do something for them. And it's basically saying, hey, you can't do that. The person's just starting out. You're going to overwhelm them. You're going to lose them. They're not going to learn anything. And this is something that I had to see to make sure that I understand where the people I'm trying to help are and not just do content dumps for myself. And to have a coach and someone that could identify that and start with an assessment like that and know that it's something that I have to work on, over the next while, it's going to be there to help me become not only a better teacher for the people that I'm trying to help, but a more educated person for myself by trying to figure out or helping me know the questions I should be asking of the tools that are now available. So I hope you enjoyed this session. Um, this is really cool. Everything is in trainingsites.io forward slash join. My name is James. It's uh, like and subscribe to the channel, all that good stuff. I'd love to see you inside. Uh, until tomorrow or the next day, take care and expect the best.